Welcome or welcome back, depending on your history, to Two Minute Trumpet Tricks. The uh, last video we talked about, uh, vibrato, which was connecting your fingers to the lead pipe and getting the sound you want. The next extension of that would be applying the same concept to shakes. Uh, shakes are just wider vibratos, actually. Uh, and again, I'll give uh, credit to Don Jacoby on this one because he really helped me on doing shakes. Shakes can be done with a lot of force, a lot of manipulation in the embouchure, or you can do it the way he did it. If you finger a note <coughs> with the, the most valves down, like G above the staff, one and three, the next note up, would be an A. Okay? If you tried to finger it with the open fingering, you'd hit, you'd hit a B flat out of tune. It, or a C. Okay, one of those two. So when you're doing a shake, try to push down as many valves as you can to diminish the interval between the primary note and the note you're going up to in your shake. Uh, an F is another one. F to B flat or B flat uh, F to A. So in other words I'm shrinking the interval of the top note by pushing more valves down. So if I have a shake on G I'll finger the G 1 and 3. Okay? Now, to make that even easier <clears throat> than just doing it from a G to a, the next note up, a B, uh, try to lock into a sharp G, 1 and 3. You try to get in between the two notes you're going to be doing the shake on, the primary and the secondary up in here. So all you need to do, when you, once you get that locked in middle pitch on the two notes, just move your horn the slightest amount and you'll get a shake. Notice very, very little hand motion, very little is needed to pump it up to the top note and bring it down to the lower note. It's easier if you can put your embouchure theoretically in between those two notes that you're doing the shake. And then all you have to do is move it very, very slightly back and forth uh, with your hand and you'll get the top note when you go in, the bottom note when you go out. So. how much I have to work on that B flat but if I finger it one and three it's much easier so that's the trick for today thank you and see you on the next one